to another one of our awesome videos. Today we're going to be doing the chemical jellyfish from Mel Chemistry. And before we start, I want to give a big thank you to Mel Science for giving us these awesome experiments. Yeah, we're really enjoying doing them, aren't we? Yep. Right, so what do we need to do our chemical jellyfish then, Oscar? Okay, so we need... So do we need a Petri dish? Um, yep. Let's have a look what we need. So we need liquid glass. Pour the sodium silicate liquid glass solution into the Petri dish. So we need this liquid glass and we need two of these, two bottles. So seven mil each bottle, so that's 14 mil altogether of liquid glass we need to put into the Petri dish. So do you want to do that, Oscar? Yep. Okie dokie. So let's plop it inside. Let's plop it inside. Is that a technical term? Is that a scientific term? <laughs> plop it inside. <laughs> so all of it? Yep. The whole thing. Oh, it's like the other one. Look, it's like staying still. It's cool. not covering. I'll help you by squeezing this one out. Well, that's probably why you need two bottles. It yeah, to cover the whole bottom. Right, are we done? Yeah. Okay, so we've done those. Now apply the metal salt solutions onto the surface of the sodium silicate solution. So, what have we got in here? Okay, so we've got four different solutions to add. And what we need to do is to add four or five drops of each solution, drop by drop from various heights, okay? Mm. So we've got this one first, which is um, iron sulfate, okay? So you're gonna put four or five drops of this around the Petri dish um, from different heights, okay. okay? See if we can get it open. I haven't quite mastered the child lock yet. Let's get the pokey in there. Ooh. Pokey. Pokey pokey. Pokey pokey. Pokey pokey. Okay, that one's ready to go. So four or five drops then please, I'll go into the solution. Okay. One. Right, we'll put the drops in and then we'll show everybody what it looks like up close. What they do you look like jellyfish? Do they? Yeah. Awesome, so what should we do next? Let's do some, some maybe some copper sulfate. Yep. So copper sulfate is this lovely bright blue colour. Can you see that? Oh, that's nice. So let's get the pokey in the top. Do the hokey pokey. And do the hokey pokey. Mm -hmm. There you go, four or five drops of this please. Okey dokey. Okey dokey, hokey pokey. We've also got some manganese sulfate. I wonder why it's from all different heights. Probably to make different sizes of drop. Okay, good point. I'm going to do one from Pussy High up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to put these ones in. So, oh, one, yeah. two, three, four, five. <laughs> one's a bit crazy. Yeah. That looks nice. That actually looks like puff jellyfish. Does it? Yeah. And then last we have this one, which is iron chloride. Yep. So, so two iron solutions. One's iron sulfate, one's iron chloride. So the scientific explanation of this says, an ion exchange reaction occurs between the sodium silicate and the metal salts. As a result, insoluble metal silicates form. These resemble jellyfish. So it says after three minutes, we should have some jellyfish. So I reckon it's probably been about three minutes since we put the first drops in, hasn't it? Yeah, they look a lot like jellyfish already. Do they? Um, and then it says the water will gradually evaporate and leave behind a multicolored layer of insoluble silicate. To make an artifact, leave to dry completely for two to three weeks and then you can keep them. You can keep your chemical jellyfish. Oh, well, can I keep these ones? You can. Yay. Cool. So let's have a little look at them. I'm going to keep them. You're going to keep them? Yeah. So you have to wait for them to evaporate. Okay. Right, let's have a look and see if we can do, show the boys and girls what they look like up close. Wow, look at those, aren't they cool? So what do you think about this experiment then, Oscar? Did you like this one? Awesome! What, which is your favourite jellyfish? I like the... 
I like the blue and yellow ones. They are so cool. They do actually look like jellyfish, don't they? Yeah. Look at that really cool blue one there. <laughs> hope you enjoyed our video if you did then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel let us know in the comments guys which of these jellyfish was your favorite did you like the blue ones or the brown ones or the orangey ones or the white ones and let us know as well if any of you have got the male science kit coming to your house and if you've done any of these experiments and which one's your favorite mm -hmm. thanks for watching guys see you soon Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.